everybody, it's Nico the Legend here, also known as the Well-Mannered Teenager, the Snowflake Rambling Idiot and Vigil. And boy, is it another hot day in Florida. It's so hot, I gotta keep the AC running in the background, so pardon that noise. And two, I can't show my face on this video today because, well, it's too hot to just dress to impress, let's just say that. But without further ado, we are here to talk about Final Fantasy 16, the first ever video of me talking about Final Fantasy 16. And boy, it is not boding well for this game at all. We got some bad news here. So if you're a person who's enjoying the game currently or plan on buying the game and don't want any spoilers or anything bringing you down, well, I got one question to ask you. Why are you watching this video? Because curiosity does kill the cat. For all the other people who are curious about this game and don't care what you know, what uh, you know about spoilers or anything or any type of articles such as these, well, I appreciate it, you know, and welcome, and feel free to subscribe to the channel, because there's we, we got some statistical data to talk about here. Now, if you're personally enjoying the game right now, that's great, you know. If you're a new Final Fantasy newcomer, this might be the game for you. I'm an old school Final Fantasy person. I've been playing since the days of yore. Uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, you know, Final Fantasy is one of those franchises that really stick stick to the heart here. It really comes home with me. So I am actually really excited to talk about this. So what are we talking about today? Uh, that is the real question, to be honest. Is Final Fantasy 16 Japan sales plunge second week after launch? Now, I know what you're going to say. Something doesn't feel right when we talk about this, and we'll, you know, discuss have a little discussion after we get this news article out of the way. So hold your pitchforks and stones and all that. You know, I'm just the messenger here. So I hope you're ready. So let's get started because this could turn into a really long video, a really short video. So as I mentioned before, Final Fantasy 16, the J Japan sales plunge second week after launch. And why is that? So sales of Square Enix Holdings Co's new Final Fantasy game tumbled during the second week after its release a sign of continued weakening momentum in the video game publisher's biggest titles. 16's mainstay Japan sales fell almost 90% to 37,763. I don't know why I read it like that, but I did. The 37k copies during the week to July 2nd. Video game tracker F Famitsu estimates showed Thursday. The figure does not include digital downloads. I know a lot of people are going to make a big point about that. But I digress. The latest installment in the long-running role-playing franchise debuted two weeks ago exclusively on Sony Group's corporation, you know, PS5, with initial hopes high that the $69.99 game would be the blockbuster Square Enix needed. So, the Tokyo-based company said it sold over 3 million copies worldwide during the game's first week, a much slower pace than its predecessor, which was Final Fantasy XV, which hit 5 million on the release day alone. Shares in Square Enix have slid 14% since the release of the big budget game in June. That's pretty terrible. The game's drop off in its second week isn't atypical. Final Fantasy 15 in 2016 and 7 Remake in uh, you know, 2020 both incurred a similar 90% sales decline. And here's a quote. Everything in 16 is just so different from previous Final Fantasy games that fans love. Tokyo Securities analyst Hideki Yasuda said, even when taking into account the number of people who might have purchased the game digitally, the sales figures are low, he said. Quote, it would be difficult to sell more with a deep, without a deep price cut. So there you have it. Now there's, now that we have that out of the way, let's just let that simmer for a second, okay? Now, there are some things that we can discuss about this on why things have gone this way. Well, let's talk about 16 specifically. So when you look at Final Fantasy 16, many of you might notice the first thing is the aesthetics and the art style. You know, it's great that it's go it went back to the medieval, but it's it's who it's trying to appeal to with a certain audience. And Yoshi P wanted to appeal to the Western audience more, and you know that definitely doesn't help that his main inspiration was coming from Game of Thrones. So that might you know throw people for a loop that uh, are used to something more whimsical and fantasy-like or take you kind of out of this world with the older Final Fantasies such as 7, 8, 9, and 10, and then the ones before, or, you know, you pick it, you name it. Even 13 felt like, it, you know, taken into a different world, you know. Uh, that could go a long way in how people see Final Fantasy 16. Um, 
yeah, it really, really throws people for a loop when a lot of politics are involved and, you know, everything comes into play reflecting off of that, especially when your art style is and, and whole premise is based off of Game of Thrones. A lot of people didn't like that from the get-go. I know I didn't like that from the get-go. I just don't understand why you can't just have inspiration from the series itself. I mean, you have over 30 entries in, in the series by now. You know, maybe they took some things here and there, but I don't understand why it had to be so, you know, this way. Now, that's probably one of the main reasons. It's just the inspiration, the way it looked, and the way it plays, yada, yada, yada. Now, number two is a big one. The fact that this game is an ex a console exclusive on the PS5, okay? Now, when Final Fantasy XV came out, uh, it was not just on the PS4, it was also on the Xbox. So that definitely did help them in the uh, quite a bit in the beginning, and probably how many, you know, those big 5 million sale figurine, you know, that's, that's a lot on day one compared to the 3 million that 16 made in a week. So that has to do with a lot of it as well. Uh, I mean, I get that uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake was only on the PlayStation in the beginning and stuff, then it eventually came to, to Epic Games and then on Steam, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, you know, we read the articles saying, stating that these past entries, including 16, haven't been doing well after the second week. And, like I said, a lot of it has to do with the departure of the series and which way it's going, the, the direction, and uh, it's like A, B, C, D, F, whatever, all the above, the alphabet. Now, if you're one of these people that enjoy these games, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I just like talking about the numbers here, and I want to hear what you guys have to say in the long run. Um, me, personally, I don't plan on playing 16 ever. It's just not me. I played through Final Fantasy 15 once, and I didn't care about it at all after that. I didn't think it was that great of a game. Uh, I played through the 7 Remake, and it was okay. Not my favorite thing, uh, because I'm pretty much a uh, purist when it comes to the storyline and stuff. I, you know, I just have my personal feelings on it that nobody really cares about, but just, just so you know that... I can understand where people are coming from when they're seeing where this franchise has, be, you know, what it had, has become. So, and it's not just those two things I mentioned with the inspiration of 16 and uh, how it's just a console exclusive. If you look up, there's a plethora of videos discussing why this game uh, is not doing well with certain individuals and they're pretty good videos my favorite video i recommend is the skill up video that review was fantastic i give it a shot if you're if you really want to know the the nitty-gritty about it i just think the guy does a fair a fair job at balancing both pros and cons um and of course you see everywhere else you know all the accolades and how the review scores are going so like i said this is all subjective opinion for me um but hey if you're a person who has played this game let us know down in the comments below and hopefully nobody you know tries to stab you with a pitchfork or anything if you don't like something or it's a controversial opinion i just want to know what you guys have to say if you're liking it great if you're not why you know give me the whys the cans do's and don'ts so just to remind you of the numbers the game has dropped uh <clears throat> oh where are we uh, Jap Jap japan sales remember we're talking about japan sales fell almost 90 percent uh, during the second week of, you know, to July 2nd. Uh, and that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. So, you know, day one of Final Fantasy 15, 5 million copies. One week of 16, 3 million copies. So that's huge, huge difference there. But anyway, folks, I don't want to keep you longer here than I have to. This video has gone long enough. But that said, I hope you did enjoy this video. I've been your host, Nico the Legend, also known as the well-mannered teenager, snowflake, rambling idiot, and vigil. And like I said before, let us know what you think down in the comments below. If you're liking this game a lot and you're liking the which way the, the, the franchise is headed with its direction, you know, I just want to know all about that. It'd be great to get a discussion going. And I appreciate your guys' time. Like I said, I'm not here to bash on the game if anybody's liking it. I'm just trying to give you the facts here in case you're curious about how well it's doing. Otherwise, uh, I look forward to the 9 remake coming out, and uh, I did a video on that recently, so shills ahoy. I hope you checked out that video and everything else the channel has to offer. Thanks again, folks. I hope you have a great day, Pathfinders. Take care.